ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ This book Maharaja Ranjit Singh came on the first death sanitary memorial of Maharaja Ranjit Singh back in 1939 This book is not written by one person but a total of 14 contributors including Teja Singh Ganda Singh Sitaram Kohli and Harban Singh Teja Singh wrote the first essay on the beginning of Sikhism and basic beliefs till the end of the 18th century when we see Maharaja Ranjit Singh emerges as the leader of Shukar Chakya Misal. Dr. Ganda Singh wrote a brief on the life of Maharaja Ranjit Singh and then different authors penned down the different aspects of not only of Maharaja Ranjit Singh but also the Sikh kingdom, the governance of Maharaja, different departments working under his command, the salaries of the army and other employees, foreign recruits in the army, taxation system, his policies towards the British, where he retreated and the reasons and what he got with retreating, the letters on the day of his death, the conspirators of the Khalsa Raj, the letters of Maharaja Dilip Singh and many more topics. This book of 300 pages holds more information than any other book on the life of Maharaja Ranjit Singh. Many books that you might have read would be talking about the victories of the Maharaja and his life. But this book, thanks to the contribution of Sita Ram Kohli, we get to see more of the administrative works. Dr. Ganda Singh gleaned at the end of the book how the others saw Maharaja Ranjit Singh. majorly those people who had met the maharaja or seen him this book also justifies the high taxation by maharaja ranjit singh on the land and how the other taxes were less or not even there and how the revenue of kashmir under maharaja ranjit singh was lesser than the rule of akbar and pathans there are 14 illustrations in the book from maharaja ranjit singh to maharaja khadak singh kamar nanihal singh and the throne of maharaja ranjit singh there are many books out there on the missile period and the sikh kingdom which are yet to be read by many i think these two periods are very crucial from the perspective of the sikh history and every sikh should read that many believe that the sikh kingdom is more about the battles and the rule of the maharaja but this book sheds light on the other aspects apart from the battles This book not only talk about the maharaja but also his rule administration his keen understanding of the enemies around his empire It will be a wonderful read for you all it contains different aspects of the maharaja his rules and policies if you have already read this book please let us know what you liked the most Wahiguru ji ka khalsa Wahiguru ji ki fateh